Hello, my name is Will Baxter. I am a systems application engineer with Schneider Electric. And in this video, I'll be showing you how to integrate the TSYS Island with a Siemens PLC using the TIA portal software and a free TSYS Island configuration software tool from Schneider called SoMove. SoMove is available for download on our Schneider's webpage. So the first thing that we'll need to do within the TIA portal program is to go ahead and create a new project. I'll select the create new project button. I'll use the default name and then I'll click on the create button. The next thing we'll need to do is add our PLC to our project. So I'll select the configure a device option. And then we'll also need to click on the add new device button. Here we're presented with a list of various different PLCs that we can choose. I will select the PLC that we're going to use for our project. And then we'll select the add button. This will add our PLC and open up the project view in TIA portal. Here you can see the PLC that we just chose. I'm going to go ahead and address the two ports on the PLC. I'll go to the X2 port and change its IP address. Next, I'll go to the X1 port and change its address. Next, we'll need to go to the libraries tab and select the TSYS Island library that I've previously downloaded. And our project will be using a Profinet uh, bus coupler. So I'll go ahead and select this folder. And then there's four folders in here that we'll need to bring into our project. I'll select these four and then go ahead and drag those over to our program blocks. Next, we'll grab the UDT folder and drag that over to PLC data types. And then finally, we'll grab the last folder and drag that back over to the program blocks. So the next thing that we need to do is go into SoMove and grab our AML configuration file for TSYS Island. Here you can see our configuration tool. And this is what we'll use to generate our AML file that which will use our configuration for the TSYS Island uh, into the Siemens TIA portal program. Here you can see my configuration that I've previously configured. I have a Profinet bus coupler, a voltage module, and I have two nine amp starters that are mechanically interlocked to form a motor two direction avatar. So the next thing we'll need to do is go into device and export and then find the AML file format. Select this. I'm going to want to create a new AML file. I'll select export and I'll choose the name and click on save. This is where it's successful. I'll select okay. And now we'll go back into TIA portal. We'll go to tools and we'll import that file. It's import CAX data and find that uh, AML file that we just created. I'll select that and select open. If I go to network view, now you can see where we have our PLC that's been added to our project as well as our TSYS Island. We'll need to virtually link the two together. I'll go ahead and do that now. Go into topology view, do the same. So next I'll go into the TIA portal and check its IP address, which is correct. This IP address was brought in with the AML file that we just created in SoMove. Scroll down, uncheck generate the station ID and that is correct. The next thing I'll go back up into network view, right click on the PLC and compile. I want to select hardware and software option. The next thing I'll right click on the PLC one more time and select download to PLC choosing the hardware and software only changes configuration. Here I'll need to select start search. This will look for our PLC and it's found our PLC. 
I'll go ahead and start the load. I will choose the continue without synchronization option. Click on that and then click on the load button. And then finally click on the finish button. Next we'll need to go online. I'll choose the on go online button. And over here on the device tree, you can actually see that all my selections are in green, meaning that I am now connected from the, the PLC to the TSIS Island. The next thing I'll do is go ahead and add a new block. Select function block and say OK. I'll go into the avatar folder, find our motor two direction avatar, and drag that onto our function block. Select OK. There are three tags in here that we'll need to configure. The first is our hardware tag. Go ahead and find that here. There's an avatar two direction acyclic. That's the one I would like to select. And it has an address of 268, which is correct. And then the next is the starting address and then the output address. To, those, to create these other two, we'll need to go into our PLC tags, go to our default tag table, and go ahead and create those tags here. Call the first one motor, start, address, and the next one will be motor out address. The motor start address has an address of two. Select the OK button. The output address is a word. Select word and then Will you select the identifier as Q with an address of one and select that. Next, we'll need to add our newly created tags back into our function block. We'll select the function block, go to our start address. There's our start and next is our end or our out. Those are selected. Over here on the device tree, you can see that we've made changes that need to be compiled and downloaded to our PLC. So we'll go ahead and do that next. Back to devices, right click on our PLC, select compile. This time we will only need to do software changes. Select that option. Go back up in our PLC to download to device. And again, software only changes. And hit the load button. So now you can see our function block has been created and the software changes all indicate that we are now successfully talking from our Siemens PLC to our uh, TSIS Island uh, system. And so that concludes our integration of the TSIS Island into the Siemens PLC project using the TIA portal software and the Schneider SoMove configuration tool.